Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Favor. 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 We need favor. favor. Yes, my first verse. I'm going to go through certain verses, but I believe I have a word for Cross Point Fellowship. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Favor. What is favor? It's delight. It's pleasure. It's goodwill. Amen. It's God stepping into one situation to make a worthwhile difference because he delights in you. Amen. Hallelujah. So delight, pleasure, and goodwill. And God finds pleasure in his children. Do you believe it? Yes. Today I want 100% participation. Amen? Yes. Delight, pleasure, goodwill. Yes. It's God stepping into your situation. Yes. Amen? Yes. And making it work for you and for your advantage. Not because you worked for it. Just because he is God and he decided that he likes you. <laughs> he just decided that he likes you. Hallelujah. I was talking to a young lady the other day. She said, but I feel I'm not worthy that I don't deserve. I said, that's good. Because that's when favor can come into your life. Hallelujah. Because if you deserve it, then it's not favor. Hallelujah. Then it's just a reward of what you have done. But we don't want reward because we are human. We don't have the capacity to do all that is required. To get God's reward and favor. That's why favor needs to come into play. I say favor needs to come into play. Because I cannot do it. I don't know. I have figured out a long time ago that I cannot do it. That I need God's favor and delight to come and step into my situation. That even, even my human capacity thinks that they can do it. I still cannot do it. Amen? But when God's delight is on me and is on you, he just steps in. Yeah. He's like, I, have, I, just, I just feel like I like you. Yes. So because I do, my favor is on you. Yes. Hello? Wow. Today we're going to enter the rest of God. Yes. Because we need to cease from work. Yes. Children, God said that the children of Israel, they did not enter the rest of God because they did not believe. Today we're going to believe so that we can step into the rest of God. The Bible says that God worked and on the seventh day he what? He rested. He said there is a Sabbath rest for the children of God. There is a Sabbath rest. It's not when we die. It's when we step into the favor of God and realize we cannot do it in our own strength. So favor comes in and then we rest. We rest from human effort. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I can feel it's going to be good in this house. Amen. It's going to be good in this house. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want God to come and make a difference in our lives. Amen. Amen. So when we talk about somebody having favor, we mean that they are approved, they are liked, and they are thought well of. And I love it because it has nothing to do with you. Hallelujah. It has everything to do with how God feels about you. Amen. And how God feels about you has nothing to do with what you do for him. Amen. He said, when Jesus was on the cross, he said, it is finished. He said, it is finished. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you hearing me today? Yes. So, Say it means we are approved, liked, and thought well of. Amen. We are positioned to receive preferential, preferential treatment and promotion. Amen. I'm ready for promotion. Amen. Get ready, promotion. Get ready, promotion. For those who watch SpongeBob, hallelujah. <laughs> The Bible says in Proverbs 22, 1, a good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor is better than silver or gold. Amen. Hallelujah. Favor is better than silver or gold. Today, we're going to stop running after mula, money, dollar sign. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, we're going to stop running after things. We're going to run after favor. Amen. The Bible says favor is better than silver and gold. Amen. Hallelujah. Favor. When the favor of God comes on you, there is no door that can be shut for you. Amen. Today we're going to say, God, dress me in favor. 
dress me in favor. Dress me in favor. I might not be wearing a Gucci, but I look like more of a Gucci because of favor is all over me. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. I might not be able to afford that big car, but the car I'm driving it looks like a Mercedes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus, favor. When favor comes on you, people start looking like, there's something about this person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Samuel 16, 21. Favor is what we want in our lives. Amen? So David came to Saul and stood before him. And he loved him greatly. And he became his armor bearer. Then Saul sent to Jesse saying, Please let David stand before me. For he has what? He has found favor in my sight. Hallelujah. Favor will bring you before kings. This young boy was 16. He found favor in the sight of the king. Favor is stronger than talent. In this life, there will always be somebody who's more powerful than you, who's more gifted than you, who's more smart than you. But when favor is your dress code, hallelujah, you find favor with the kings. Favor will open doors for you that no man can open. Favor will make you look the most smart person on this planet when there's no diploma to show it. Hallelujah. Jesus. Ah, God dress me up in favor. Yes. Favor will distinguish you. Say, distinguish me, God, with your favor. Distinguish me with your favor. Yes, he has to distinguish us. And it is time. This is the season. That's why this word is for you for today. Amen. Amen. We're going to go into Deuteronomy 33, 23. Oh, God is good. You know, now what I say, my prayer is, Oh, Lord, let your favor be upon your servant. Hallelujah. Let your favor be upon cross point. And of Naphtali, he said, Oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess the west and the south. Amen. There's people in this life, it doesn't matter how much they have, they will never be satisfied. More, 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 right? That's the, li- the world we live in. But when favor is on you, you will be satisfied. Amen. Hallelujah. Because satisfaction has nothing to do with how much you have. Amen. Hallelujah. He say you will be satisfied and full of blessing. And you will possess the west and the south. Amen. Today I'm ready for possession. Amen. I'm ready for possession. I want to be satisfied. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Nehemiah 2, 4 to 5. The Bible says, Then the king said to me, What do you request? So I prayed to the God of heaven. And I said to the king, If it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in your sight, I ask you to send me to Judah, to the city of my father's tombs, that I may rebuild it. Hallelujah. Nehemiah found favor with his boss, the king. And he let him go do the work of the ministry. Favor will make your boss give you things or do things that he will never do for somebody else. Say, God, dress me in favor. When I go to talk to my boss, let the favor speak for me. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's what favor does. Are, are, you, are, you, are you awake today? Yes. Is everything okay? Yes. Are you downcast? No. Are you dressed in favor? Yes. Why I don't see satisfaction on your face? Yes. May the favor of God fall upon you. May you find joy and peace and restoration because of the favor of God upon your life. Are you hearing me today? We are not called to live this life sad, depressed, oppressed. We're, we are made to rise up in beauty and joy. Not because things are working out. Just because the favor of God is on us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Today I came to nurture life back to you. Amen. Hallelujah. I came to bring back to life that's been done, that, that, the thing that's down, discourage, you know. God is here to remind you, hello, Amen. I find delight in you. Amen. I find pleasure in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Luke 1, 30 to 31. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, for you have found favor with God. Today, I want to tell you, do not be afraid, cross point. Amen. Do not be afraid, cross point. Amen. Regardless of what you're going through, you have found favor with God. Amen. Favor will open ministries for you. Favor will open wombs for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Favor will create space in your womb to bring forth life. Amen. May the favor of God come upon you. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 2.26, I'm going through a lot of verses just to show you that it's in the Bible and it's favor and it's real. Amen? And the child somewhere grew in stature and in favor both with the Lord and, and man. Amen? I say he grew in favor both with God and with man. Favor with God and with man. We want favor with God and with man. The Bible speaks about the same thing with Jesus. He said Jesus increased in wisdom, stature, favor with God and with man. Not only do we want favor with God, we want favor with man. Because in this life we need somebody. God will always use somebody. Amen? We'll always use somebody. So God wants us to have favor with God and with man. Amen. And you can see that favor can grow. Because the Bible said that he increased, he grew in favor. Today we're going to have an increase of favor in our lives. Amen. Increase of favor in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. It can be increased. It can be increased. Hallelujah. I was, I was talking to this uh, message in Montreal. I was talking about Hannah. How the Bible says that Hannah, Hannah means favor, grace. Amen. Amen. How she was being called favor, but there was no favor expressed in our lives. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Today, we're going to activate the favor that's in our lives. Amen. We must activate the favor that's in our lives. Imagine everybody called her favor, grace, and she would look around, there's nothing to show. Favor is part of your heritage. Today we'll activate it in our lives. Amen? 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 Amen. 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 Psalm 512, the Bible says, For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with a shield. Hallelujah. With favor, you will surround him as a shield. Today, you are surrounded by the favor of God. I say, I'm surrounded by the favor of God. Can you see that you are surrounded by the favor of God? I see it wherever I go in whatever I do. Hallelujah. Jesus. So all this, I said it to come to this point. Exodus 3, 21, 22. This is a word I feel God gave me for you. Amen? And I will give these people, cross point, favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Amen. And it shall be when you go that you shall not go empty-handed. But every woman shall ask of her neighbor. Women, are we ready? Yes. She said every woman Amen. shall ask of her neighbor. Namely, of her who dwells near her house, article of silver. That's what favor, favor attracts, silver, yes. gold, shopping. <laughs> I don't know, women here, you guys need to go to the women's conference. You need it. Because now is the time to say, yay, shopping. <laughs> <laughs> she said, 
said, you're going to add silver, gold, and clothing, and you shall put them on your sons and on your daughters. The Bible says, so you shall plunder the Egyptians. God is about to make you plunder today. This is a season of plundering. I said, this is a season of plundering. God is about to release a favor upon your life. That you're going to stop plundering. I said plundering. You're going to go take whatever that belongs to you. The Bible says that when the thief is caught, he must restore seven times. He said go plunder. And seven times you're going to rip from what the enemy has stolen from you. Say favor. 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 To go plunder what the enemy has taken from you. Today I'm here to talk to somebody who's been down, depressed, oppressed, but because the enemy has stolen from you. I'm talking to you today. The enemy has has stolen from me, but today God said, I'm going to go plunder. I'm going to plunder from Egypt. When you have the favor of God, God will give you resources that you did not work for. Resources that you did not work for. Hallelujah. To plunder is to mean to take goods by force. God wants us to go and take goods by force. And whatever we ask of them, he say you shall ask of your neighbor. They will give it to you because the favor of God is upon you. He said they will give it to you. Just go ask. Hey, I'm ready to ask. To plunder is to, to snatch away. Come on. Come on, Pastor. To rescue, to save, to pluck, to preserve, to take out, to recover. Who's ready to recover? I'm ready to recover. I'm ready to recover. Amen? Now listen. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 38, this is the story of David. And it says, then David inquired of the Lord, shall I pursue after this troop? Hallelujah. Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, pursue, because you shall surely overtake them. And without fail, say without fail. So plunder means without fail to recover. Amen. And without fail, you will recover it all. This is the story of David when the enemy came and took the wives and the children and burned their dwelling. Amen? And then they came back and they saw everything was down to pieces. Today I'm here to talk to you, to somebody who feels like everything has been down to pieces. Somebody who feels like their joy has been taken away. I'm here to talk to somebody whose finances has been stolen by the Lord, by the devil. Today I'm here to talk to you that God says that you shall plunder. You shall plunder Egypt. You shall plunder the enemy and you will recover it all. I say you will recover it all. So this is David in turmoil. The Bible says that they cried until there's no more tear to cry. I don't know if somebody here who has cried until there was no more tears to cry. He said he cried until there was no more tears to cry. Am I speaking to somebody? You have cried until there's no more tears. You have prayed until there's no more prayer to pray. Hmm? Today I'm speaking to you today. But the Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord. Today I'm talking to somebody else who's been coming to church Sunday after Sunday just to encourage themselves in the Lord. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? 
all you do is just, God, I'm just going to encourage myself in you, God. Because the enemy has taken from me. Because the devil has taken my hope, my peace, my business I started, he destroyed it. There's no hope in me, God. My ministry I started, it's gone. There's no hope in me, God. My children that are raised up, they are gone. There's no hope for me, God. All you have done is to encourage yourself in the Lord. Is there somebody here? Because I believe this word is for you. Yes. This word is for you. You've been encouraging yourself in the Lord, but today God says what? You shall recover it all. Amen. He says you shall recover it all. He says you shall plunder the Egyptian. Amen. 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 Amen? So 1 Samuel 30 verse 19 and 20, the Bible says, Nothing was missing, so they went to recover. Nothing was missing, young or old, boy or girl, plunder or anything else they had taken. He said they, they just took everything back. Amen? He said David brought everything back. Today you are about to take everything back. Yeah. All the things that the enemy has stolen from you, you are about to take it back. I, I think there's no believers in this church. God wants to bring you to a place of rest where you recover everything. I say, I'm about to recover everything. I'm about to recover everything. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Shalom on every side. Surrounded by the favor of God, like the shield. I'm about to recover it all. Am I talking to somebody today? Am I talking to somebody today? He said he took all the flocks and herds, and his men drove them ahead of the livestock, and saying, this is David's plunder. There's a plunder with a name on you. There's a plunder with your name. There's a plunder with your name. There is a plunder with your name. Julia, there's a plunder with your name. This is Julia's plunder. You're going to recover it all. They said, this is David's plunder. There is a plunder for you. There is a plunder for you. There is a plunder for you. Do you believe it today? He said he's going to recover it all. Until people are going to start walking saying, this is Nadia's plunder. Ah, her spoil. And she's going to share, 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 share. Amen. You better receive it. Because if you don't, I'll take yours. I don't care. <laughs> I'll take yours. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, you know when the favor of God comes on you, imagine the Egyptian who were resisting the hand of Moses. And God says, I'm going to put favor on the children of Israel now. Now they're just going to go ask the neighbor. And they went and they asked, and the neighbor gave it all. That's the power of favor. Favor of God doesn't make sense. Like the black Americans say, favor ain't fair. Hallelujah. It feels good. Hallelujah. And they said, this is David's plunder. Today you're about to recover. You're about to recover your peace. About to recover your joy. About to recover your finances. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Shalom all over you. I want you to stand up and tell your neighbors, five neighbors, say, I'm recovering. 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 Recovering your joy. Recovering your health. Recovering your peace. You're covering your sound mind. Recovering your health. Recovering your finances. Recovering, recovering, recovering. Nothing shall be missing upon your life. Nothing shall be missing upon your life. The finances that were broken, you are about to recover. The peace that was taken, you are about to recover. The children that left you, you are about to recover. The job that you have lost, you are about to recover. Everything, recovering all, recovering all. You are about to recover everything that the enemy has stolen from you because of the favor of God upon your life. Say, I'm recovering. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. No more toiling. No more toiling. 
No more toiling. No more toiling. No more toiling. No more toiling. No more toiling. You are recovering. 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 God is saying, throw your nets again. Throw your nets again. No more toiling because you are about to recover. And God says, not only are you going to recover and you're going to discover. You're going to discover. You're going to discover the reason why you are on this planet. You're going to recover and discover your strength. You're going to recover and discover your purpose. You're going to recover and discover the reason you had to go through what you went through. You will discover the reason why you are still here. You're going to recover and discover. Hallelujah. Recover and discover. Recover and discover. Tell your neighbor, I'm recovering and discovering. I'm recovering and I'm 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 discovering. The enemy thought he had me, but I'm recovering and I'm discovering the reason of my existence. I'm recovering and discovering the reason I'm in this place. I'm recovering and discovering the reason I'm still standing. Oh, I'm going to recover and discover the purpose of God upon our lives. Oh, I'm about to discover who God made me to be. Everything that the enemy used to put me down is so that I can rise up again and recover it all and discover the strength that God has placed inside of me. That's why you are suffering the way you suffer so that you recover and discover what God has placed inside of you. The world had told you that you are this, but God says, no, no, no. I'm going to make you recover everything the enemy has stolen from you and make you discover the reason of your calling of your destiny. I'm discovering and recovering. I'm recovering and I'm discovering. Jesus. Jesus. No more whipping. No more whipping. No more whipping. Because the favor of God is on you. Because the favor of God is on you. God says, pursue. Pursue. That business that had failed, start again. That ministry that had failed, start again. That job that had failed, start again. That children you wanted, start again. You will recover. And then you're going to discover the reason of your existence on this planet. Hey! Recovering. Oh, I must recover. I must recover and I must discover my purpose on this planet. I must recover and I must discover the purpose why I'm still standing here in this planet, in this city of Calgary. You're going to walk into your destiny because you have recovered and discovered. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. This is a season, like a person said, launch out. He said, launch out. Go pursue, you will recover it all. Go pursue, you're going to recover it all. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I want you to stand up. The Bible says what? That Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. So favor brings rest. All this season of toiling, toiling, trying this, trying this, trying this. God said, now sit. You have entered your season of rest. Sit because this is your position. You are seated with Christ in high places. Today we're going to make a prophetic move. We're going to sit because that's your position of favor. From the place of rest. I said from the place, place, place of rest. This is your position. God wants you to position you. Because when you're in the favor of God, you don't work hard. You sit. Now sit prophetically. Sit. Find rest in your seated position. He said he worked six days and the seventh day he rested. 
He said there is a Sabbath rest for the children of God. He said if you enter the rest, you enter the rest of God. Why it's not anymore? No, 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 no. You are seated. Say rest. I'm entering my season of rest to recover and discover my destiny. I think I'm done. That was the word of God for you. Jesus, position for favor, position for favor, position for favor. Hallelujah. No more toiling, no more weeping. Favor will attract. Favor will attract the businesses you need to be into. Favor will attract the husband you need to have. Hey, you ladies, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says Ruth had favor with Boaz. Hello? Because favor was all over her. Now you young women, don't worry because she's more pretty than you, more powerful than you. Just say, God, I'm dressed. Don't, 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 don't be busy. In the morning, you look one way. The evening, you look another way. Okay, do, 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 do a little bit. But you know what? Put on favor. We gotta help ourselves. But you know what? At the end of the day, put on favor. Favor that will make a man look at you and say, eh? Where is she come from and where is she going? Come, 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 come. Hey. <laughs> Say favor. It doesn't matter how old I am. I'm a favor. Full of favor. My husband is coming to me. Busy, busy. Go to that church. Let me see if there's a man there. Go to that church. There's work, 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 work. Favor. And then you come and you serve your God. And that favor will attract the right people. You don't want to attract just a man. You want to attract the man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Favor. Now I'm going to talk to a single man. You just don't want a f- wife. The Bible said, he who finds a good the, the amplifier version said, you know, I need to find it. In French, it said, a worthy wife. Yeah. Not every wife are worthy. Yeah. Just, just, man, just take your time. Yeah. Don't let the body the, 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 attract you only and then you're like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 at cross point, they are all worthy women. Don't worry about it. He said, those who find a worthy woman obtains favor. Yes. Hallelujah. Not everything that's feminine that moves, you need to look at it. Yes. Huh? Now you need, you know, like 20 glasses. Whoa, 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 you are all over the map. No. Favor. Say, God, I want one who dressed in favor. Yes. That's why when women are dressed like that, dressed like there's no favor. Just send them to Pastor Jenny to clean them up. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have answered the rest of God. Where there's no more toiling. We are busy toiling. And then we are tired and overwhelmed. But God says, enter my rest because my favor is on you. And my favor will distinguish you. My favor will open doors for you, will make way for you. Even if you think you're coming from behind, my favor will make you overrun those who are ahead of you. That's the power of the favor of God. Are you hearing me today? we need the favor of God upon our lives. Can we rise up in the presence of God and we're going to say, God, today I'm recovering my plunder. There's a plunder with my name on it. My name on it. My spoil. 
and I'm going to pursue. I'm going to pursue. Hallelujah. Until I recover it all. And once I have recovered it, I'm going to discover the reason of my existence. Hallelujah. Can we raise up our hands today like that? We're going to believe for the favor that open wombs. I'm believing for miracles in this house. May the favor of the Lord fall upon your womb today in the mighty name of Jesus. That you may receive that which you have been crying for. Weep no more. That God may bless you with the fruit of the womb in the mighty name of Jesus. We are pray for favor that breaks the yoke of slavery, of bondage. Yes. Father God, we pray for this favor upon your people mm-hmm. to break the yoke of bondage upon their lives. Yes. God, they've tried in their own strength. Yes. Father God, let the favor of God fall upon them today yes. so that they can recover, Father God, yes. all that the enemy has stolen from them. Yes. Father God, let the favor of God fall upon those who are about to Go out and pursue, mighty God. Let your favor be upon them. That they may not be toiling anymore, God. Let your favor fall on them, God. Give them the spirit of wisdom, understanding, knowledge, Father God. To outrun this world, mighty God. Let this favor be upon them, Lord Jesus. Let the favor of God that raise us, God, people out of depression and oppression and bring them to a place of wholeness. I release that favor upon their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I declare that you're going to recover and discover your purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. You will recover all that is due to you. You will recover all that is due to you. You will recover all that is due to you. And you're going to discover the reason why you are in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Can we give a clap offering to the Lord today? We're going to praise Him. We're going to praise Him for the favor of God upon our lives. Because it's coming down. It's coming down to make a way for you. It's coming down to make a way for you. It's coming down to make a way for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Business being birthed out of this place. Ministries being birthed out of this place. Children being born out of this place. Let the favor of God satisfy you. Satisfy you satisfy you new doors of opportunity being open in the mighty name of Jesus new vision God let the favor of God accelerate 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 you shall recover and discover your purpose in the mighty I need a praise song hallelujah the glory the glory the favor hallelujah hallelujah Are we ready to declare it today? Are we ready to declare it today? Weep no more. Weep no more. Weep no more. Weep no more. more. Because God has granted your petition today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to give a praise offering because we're going to believe that this word was for you and you have received it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Surrounded. Surrounded with favor. Haraba shete kere baba sete ke. Re baba sondo korobobo serere. You will make your mountain strong and steady because of the favor of God. Come on. The
it. Say there's a spoil with my name on it. Go get it, grab it, and you will recover it all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalm 102, verse 13, you will arise and have mercy on cross point. For the time to favor her, yes, the set time has come. Today we declare the set time of the favor of God upon cross point in the mighty name of Jesus. Today I charge you to cease from work and to enter the rest of God. Because your favor has come for you. You're going to sit and rest in high places. Hallelujah. The time to favor you has come. Say, God, I have entered my rest. I have entered my rest. No more toiling. No more working. It is finished. I enter the rest of God. Because of the favor and the delight of God upon my life. Today we accelerate that favor upon your life. Today we accelerate that favor upon your life. We accelerate it upon your life, upon your business, upon your children, upon your marriage, upon your relationship, upon your ministry. Come on, receive it, receive it, receive it. We accelerate, we accelerate. The time to favor you has come. Spread out, launch out, and go recover all that God has given to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we give a clap offering to the Lord today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, touch five people and say the time of your favor has come. Touch five people. Five people, five people. The time 